Hello, I'm Jason from ITC Audio Company. So today, please allow me to introduce our production uh, 67 IP system for you. So in front of you, you can see the three boxes here. These three boxes are to realize the function. Uh, I mean, actually, uh, the these two fun these two boxes are realize the function for the alarming. And um, in the, at the bottom, the device is to realize the function to decode the signal which we receive from the uh, internet through the uh, through the switcher. Okay, so you can see the device is in front of you. Uh, I would like to introduce is the in the bottom in the middle one. It has about uh, 30 joints. We can trigger out the uh, 30 ports on the rear panel and we can realize the uh, alarming message to change into the switcher. Uh, in front of the two boxes is this one. The box is the the box function is to realize the analog signal to change it into the digital one. Okay? At the bottom the device is to realize the function to decode the digital signal into the analog signal and then come to the speaker. See the three devices, they are the in the comes to talk about to talk to each other and this panel it is to realize the function to uh, special in president. Uh, actually I mean uh, the two devices you can see the black one and the uh, white one the two devices they can talk to each other through the number we set in the software. Okay so for this panel we can press the button here because you can see we have the uh, white, uh, green, green button and we also have the red button. This two bus button has its fixed function and we can realize the function when we uh, do some configuration in the software and then we press it and some uh, another calling to the devices or to another one and we press, uh, when we press the alarming button it tends to be the alarming message to another terminal and also to other side who can hear our signal uh, alarming. Okay, so all the devices we introduced to you are the most wholesale and also uh, widely used in the shopping mall, the school and also some uh, prison or some shopping mall or some hotel and so on. So our C7 uh, IP system is widely and popular uh, in so much market and thank you for your listening. Hello my dear customers, now please allow me to introduce our uh, nice cable connecting for the IP67 system. Uh, totally we have three kinds of cable here. We can see the connection one by one. First of all we can see the cable 5 connection. As you can see all the devices they connected the uh, cable 5, cable 5 and directly to the switcher. Yes, as you can see, every device is, they have a cable 5 connected directly to the switcher. So that's the mainly connection to the speaker. They are used to uh, share the communication data and pass the analog into the digital signal and then to share the communication together through the cable 5. Okay, another kind of cable is the power source cable. You can see the power source cable on the left of the other devices. They are used to supply the power to every device. So you can see the cable on the left of the, of the devices. And they are connected directly to the socket. Okay, for these two three uh, devices, the power source, power source connecting, I mean the cable, like this one, is, uh, is the smaller compared to the bigger one is smaller. Okay, so the power connection, power cable connection to the uh, socket directly, they are mainly used to supply all the power to the devices. Okay, you can see the last kind of cable. This cable are connected to the speaker. Why we use this kind of connect connection? Because when we receive the signal from the internet, we use the uh, home line cable to connect it the device directly to the speaker and pass the signal to the speaker and you can hear the sounds. Okay, these three types of cable are all we use in the IP system. That's for the function and for the connect connection presentation. Thank you. This is a, a IPPA system, so we must to set each set each terminal have a IP address. 
the, you have two methods to set the IP address. The first one is use the panel on each terminal to set it. The, uh, please see the panel here. Double press this button and press OK. You will see uh, you have to type in the manager password. The password is 638888. Then press the OK button. You see here is the IP address setting. After finish it, press the OK again. Then the finish. So this is the first time to set the IP address. The second method to set the IP address for each terminal is use the this serial cable to connect terminal and our PC to set the IP address. Please see here. This is the terminal port for each terminal. We use this use a serial cable to connect it. And uh, another is connect to our PC. Then we will use the software uh, in, in our PC to uh, set in the IP address for each terminal. Okay, dear friend, the second method to set the IP address for each terminal is use the software to set it. Please see here, in this folder, when after you install the software of 6700 system, you will see this folder. In the two folder, you see there is a, a terminal configure 2 here. Double press it. You see, because we connect the terminal and our PC with the serial cable, so we chose this option, serial port. Uh, in, in, in my PC, it's used the config port. Then, I press the query button. Okay, because the comp port is wrong, just now, we so we chose the COM4 port and press query, you know, <coughs> and then you see this is the IP address and the netmask gateway server IP. This is uh, we have to set for each terminal. After uh, finish, you set it and press this button Y, and then it said Y date complete. That means uh, this terminal have its IP address now. So that's all. Now we will set, we are going to set the software of 6700 systems. Please see in this folder, you can see the ITC IP port case software. Double press it. In here, it, there is a setting. It means uh, the media server address. This address is for the server PC, it's this PC. So, how I can set this IP address, how I can choose it. In your PC, in your PC, we have to set this IP address, the fixed IP address for this PC. You see, I have set a fixed IP address for this PC, and this is the server IP address. Finish. Then, in this uh, large uh, user interface, I have to choose this IP address. Press OK, and then we log in. After you log in this system, the first step to do is set the server. This here, two, chose two, and there is a manager for what server here. You see, I think we have to set a server name and a server IP address. Server IP address. That's okay. Finish. Close. And then the second step is set the local forward. So serve setting just here. This is the server IP address, and you can after you set this IP address in this in this option, you can choose it. You can choose it, and these two main address and the mix address, you do not need to change them. And in here, default permission we chose not allow. Finish that. We have we uh, we press the save button. And then we have to restart the software. In here, you have to know we have to sign out first, and then in the servers, we have to stop this free servers. Stop. In because uh, I have changed some setting for the software, so I have to restart the servers. So right. And we start it first, then assign it again. 
and then after after we set the manager for war server and the local forward survive setting the first step is register this uh, software you see here press health the license information you see there are two options here registration code or choose the dongle uh, because uh, sometimes uh, because uh, generally we will sell you the dongle USB so you just need to choose the dongle option and insert your USB a dongle USB to this server uh, this this server uh, PC that's okay and you will see the user zero here and this is the register code um you uh you should send us this user zero number so that we we would provide you the register uh code in here and then you press the register button that is that will finish it uh, now uh, we chose this one the registration code be, uh, because it have a day limit it have a day limit the value provide is from some time to some time finish the register press this register close and then uh, after we, we register this software now we are going to set the terminal you can see here there are four options here options and the monitor both case real-time task schedule and the media library and the options you have the basic setting the software address the system configure tool that's here you see this is the uh, eight there are, there are eight uh, options let you to setting uh, include the priority the speak and the talkback configure alarm configure we generally we do not uh, change this setting for this option we only change uh, we only set the terminal here um, after you set IP address for each terminal and then you will see them they are include they are so uh, they will sold in here so in the terminal setting or in the terminal state press the refresh button you can see that here we what uh, if we want to change the terminal setting please look at me here uh, press the edit I can give this terminal a name and have to type in its uh, IP address and chose this uh, for what server IP address this is the terminal version control and this term version is very important generally we chose the uh, direction 3.6 option and this is the call number call number is used for uh, when the call central to call each terminal they will pass this number first and then they press the call button um, they will call this terminal and then this is call center <coughs> for some uh, for them for some emergency panel uh, they have to they only have one button or two button for these buttons they have to uh, we have to set uh, one call center number for that so that they can so that after they press the, that button they will uh, call the central terminal this is the default launch ID uh, generally we often set it as the 001 and finish it we press OK for each terminal you have to set it uh, like, just, like just now after you finish the terminal setting we are going to uh, play a studio for this terminal to test it you see here we are going to press a uh, studio here press the play studio and choose the file play at, at a new task that's one and at a file choose a mp3 file and then choose select the terminal I select this one, this one terminal, that's OK. And then press the OK. You see, this is the task is finished. We can modify it or delete it. After we press the start button, the terminal will play the music. You see here, it's playing. 
we can stop it or push it. This is Space Studio. Okay, now we are going to set the IP broadcast alarm system. Uh, double press this button. You can see uh, the password is uh, there's, there's no password for it. That's okay. So in this uh, IP emergency alarm broadcast, uh, because uh, you use the six double two B and the six seven one A uh, one three these two device, so we have to set the software in here. You press the configure, and you see there is zero options. Uh, because we do not use the serial cable to connect our terminal, you just use a cat cable to connect it. So this option, we do not need to choose it. Just press OK. And in the network, we have to set, because we use the cat cable to connect, we have to choose this option, use network. And the listen port is 1A000, and press OK. Finish that. We are going to add a, a task here. You see, I add a task. Task B and add trigger list. Because from the uh, 6223 device, we have 30 triggers. So we chose which one, uh, which, uh, which port you need. I chose the port one you need. And then I add the uh, fire alarm amplifier, fire alarm music. And then I will, I, I will going to set the <coughs> this port, uh, set, set the terminal uh, for this port. Finish it and choose the volume. And click the OK. Then finish this task, you can press the start button to test it and you see the music is playing after stop <laughs> uh, for this mission for example uh, when the fire is happened the 6223 device can give a uh, dry contact uh, to the uh, 6, uh, 6, 1, 6, 7, 1, 3, and then our system will know uh, which part uh, have the fire happen so that he will uh, trigger then that task. Oh, this is the whole setting for our system. Thank you very much.